Chapter Twenty Two of Lyrical Ballads, Seventeen Ninety Eight, by Samuel Taylor Coleridge and William Wordsworth. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Verity Kendall. The Convict. The glory of evening was spread through the west. On the slope of the mountain I stood, while the joy that precedes the calm season of rest rang loud through the meadow and wood and must we then part from a dwelling so fair in the pain of my spirit i said and with a deep sadness i turned to repair to the cell where the convict is laid the thick ribbed walls that o'ershadow the gate resound and the dungeons unfold i pause and at length through the glimmering grate that outcast of pity behold his black matted head on his shoulder is bent and deep is the sigh of his breath and with steadfast dejection his eyes are intent on the fetters that link him to death sorrow enough on that visage to gaze that body dismissed from his care yet my fancy has pierced to his heart and portrays more terrible images there his bones are consumed and his life-blood is drained with wishes surpassed to undo and his crime through the pains that o'erwhelm him still blackens and grows on his view when from the dark synod or blood-reeking field to his chamber the monarch is led all soothers of sense the soft virtue shall yield and quietness pillow his head but if grief self-consumed in oblivion would doze and conscience her torches appease mid tumult and uproar this man must repose in the comfortless vault of disease when his fetters at night have so pressed on his limbs that the weight can no longer be borne if while a half slumber his memory bedims the wretch on his pallet should turn while the jail mastiff howls at the dull clanking chain from the roots of his hair there shall start a thousand sharp punctures of cold sweat and pain and terror shall leap at his heart but now he half rises his deep sunken eye and the motion unsettles a tear the silence of sorrow it seems to sigh and asks of me why i am here poor victim no idle intruder has stood with o'erweening complacence our state to compare but one whose first wish is the wish to be good is come as a brother thy sorrows to share at thy name though compassion her nature resign though in virtue's proud mouth thy report be a stain my care if the arm of the mighty were mine would plant thee where yet thou mightst bloom again end of the convict recording by verity kendall